Jumanji, Annabelle, Avengers. Ah, oh, so many choices. I can't decide which one to watch. Ah, oh, let's read a review. Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm just looking at the film posters and trying to decide what I'm going to watch later. I have no doubt that most of you like watching films too and have read many film reviews on the internet and newspaper. But do you know how to write a film review? In this lesson, we are going to learn how to write a film review. At the end of this lesson, I hope you can fulfill these three learning objectives that I have set for you. First, you should be able to talk about cinema and films. Second, to express opinion and preferences about a film. And lastly, to use the structure of a film review in your writing. Alright, pupils, tell me, do you go to the cinema often? I know some people who go to the cinema with friends like every weekend. Maybe that's how they spend their free time together. I don't go to cinema often because I don't have a lot of free time. And I think that since you can watch the film on DVD or internet later on, there's no point in going to the cinema. It's our preference, right? What kind of films do you like? There are many different genres or types of films. Let me show you some. Science fiction or sci-fi. An imagined future, especially about space travel or other planets. Comedy. Romance or love story related to love, relationship. Horror. Very frightening or unnatural things happen. For example, dead people coming to life and people being murdered. Thriller. Exciting and frightening story often about solving a crime. Adventure or action film. You can watch a lot of exciting things happen in the story. Historical. Representation of things from the past documentary and animated or cartoon. Among all these genres, I like action films very much because I like adventure. I also enjoy watching science fiction films because they are usually unpredictable, keep you interested and give you an alternative perspective on what life could be like in the future. In addition, they usually have spectacular special effects. Do you know what a film review is? Have you ever read a film review before? A film review is a short description of a film where the writer provides details of the movie analyzed and gives his or her opinion and recommendations of the film. The purpose of most film review is to help the reader in determining whether they want to watch the movie. The review should give enough details about the movie that the reader can make an informed decision. Let's look at some vocabulary related to film and movies. Soundtrack The sound and music in the film Script Plot or storyline Stunts, an exciting action in a film that is dangerous and usually needs to be done by someone skilled, the stuntman. Special effects, they appear real but are actually created by artists and technical experts. Box office hit, star can be verb or noun. Star here is a performer, such as a musician, actor or sports player. If someone stars in a film, they are the main actor in it, hero or heroine. Opening, ending, episode, climax, 
cast of characters, leading a supporting characters, sequence or scene. Look at this film poster. The title is Ola Bola. Have you watched this film? Have you heard of this film before? Right, before we read the review, look at the following questions. Identify which paragraph does the writer A. Express his or her opinion of the film and make a recommendation B. Give a short description of the plot and the setting C. Give general information about the film and D. Comment on different features of the film Let's read through the film review and determine which paragraph carries these ideas 1, 2, 3 or 4 Ola Bola is a Malaysian film directed by Chiu Kang Kwan It is a sports film which stars J.C. Chi as Chao Kuo Kiong, the captain of the national football team of Malaysia in 1980 and Bron Palare as Rahman, a would-be sports commentator and friend of Chao's This film is set in 1980 and it is inspired by the true story of how the Malaysia national football team made it to the 1980 Olympics it narrates the stories of the players who have to overcome obstacles and personal issues on their way to success. Its highlight is a match between Malaysia and South Korea in which Malaysia wins and qualifies for the 1980 Olympics. A special feature of the film is a careful attention that was given to detail in order to make the 80s setting look authentic and to help develop the characters' stories. But most importantly, it is a film which teaches us to never give up. It shows how important it is to put differences aside and work together to achieve a common goal. I found this film very entertaining. I think it should be seen not only by all sports lovers, but also by anyone looking for an inspirational story. Now, identify which paragraph does the writer express his or her opinion of the film and make a recommendation? Yes, Paragraph 4 Which paragraph does a writer give a short description of the plot and the setting? Paragraph 2 Next which paragraph gives general information about the film? Paragraph 1 And lastly, which paragraph comments on different features of the film? Yes, paragraph 3 Did you get it all correct? Excellent! Now, let's see the structure of the film review It should consist of three different parts An introduction, a body and a conclusion Let's study each of these three parts in detail. First, the introduction is in the first paragraph. In this paragraph, you should introduce the reader to what you are going to discuss. Don't give all of the film information in this paragraph. 
find a way to hook your reader by writing an appealing sentence that makes your reader curious or anxious about the film. The body is the second part and it may be composed of two paragraphs. The second paragraph offers a summary of the plot focusing on the main aspects. Discuss why you thought the film was fascinating, boring, predictable, confusing, or any other feelings that it gives you. Make sure you defend your reasoning using evidence as to why you feel that way. The third paragraph includes a general comment on the plot, the development of the main characters, the acting, and any other elements that you can see from the film. The conclusion is usually the last paragraph of a film review. Here, the writer provides a general assessment of the film and his or her opinion about it. The writer will also recommend or not recommend the movie and gives reason to support his or her opinion about the film. Well, how was it? Do you find it easy to write a film review? There are many ways you can talk about film. It was nice, it was fun, we really enjoyed it. But that's just common, isn't it? Why don't we learn some new ways of describing the film? You can use adjectives. Let's look at some of the useful adjectives that you can use in film reviews. Unforgettable Spectacular Superb Original Heartwarming Full of emotions, affection, love It affected you emotionally, of course in positive ways Unrealistic Doesn't make sense Disappointing Predictable You already know before it happened Terrifying, breathtaking, extremely exciting, beautiful or surprising. Now, look at the two pairs of sentences and decide which of the two are more effective in giving the writer's impression of the film. Number one, A. The ending was predictable. B. I knew the ending from the beginning. Number two. The special effects didn't seem very real. B. The special effects were unrealistic. Number three, A. The film is set at the top of a mountain with a beautiful view. B. The film is set at the top of a mountain with a spectacular, superb view. These are just some of the examples. I hope you can write a better description in your writing task later. Now, let's move on to your writing task. You need to write a film review. Fairview Secondary School newspaper is looking for film reviews for its next issue. Remember to write about a film that has struck you in some way, mentioning the plot, features that stand out and why you enjoyed it or not. Alright, get ready with your pen and paper. Let's write a film review now. I choose the movie Train to Busan. I bet most of you have watched or heard about this film. We are going to use these tables to make a simple analysis of the movie. 
title, type of film, director, leading actors. Then you have to think whether it's excellent, good, not good. For the plot, acting, soundtrack, special effects and ending. Now, let's fill in the general information first. The title, Train to Busan. Type of film, horror or thriller. Director, Yoon Sang-ho. Leading actors, Gong Yu, Jung Yumi and Ma Dong So. You can add other information if you want here. Next, I'm going to tick the boxes according to my impressions of the film. First, plot. The plot is quite interesting. I love the idea of the movie taking place on a train. It's something that I haven't ever seen in this genre and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The pacing of this movie didn't feel too slow or too fast. It was just right. They have moments of suspense and danger, along with touchy and emotional moments that is in the subplot. Acting At first, I disliked the main lead character. He appeared self-centered and rigid. But by the progress of the movie, a softer character emerges. A father trying to protect his child and a man with empathy who is ready to extend a hand for the others. The child actor is outstanding too. Soundtrack Well, most of the soundtracks really fitting the scenes and even emotional at times. It makes me feel the thrill and keeping me on the edge at the same time. Next, special effects. The zombie makeup and the special effects used in this movie were spot on. I can't say they look real because, well, I've never seen a real zombie before, but I really enjoyed it. Ending. The ending is just great. I feel like the director keeps us guessing until the nervy closing seconds. But it was emotional and realistic too. You can add any other details that you want to include in your review here like the costumes, camera play and your favourite scenes. Now you have a bit of idea about the film. When writing a film review, you need to follow this plan. In the introduction, give some general information about the film, title, type of film, director, leading actors, you can use phrases like It's a romantic or an adventure, a horror, an animated, a comedy film starring This is a war or sci-fi or dance and action film directed by The leading roles are played by Name is a leading actor or actresses the role of character is played by The film is based on You can use any of these sentence structures to give a general overview about the film Now, paragraph 2 and 3 are the body of your writing Give a brief summary of the plot Use phrases like the film is set in The film tells a story of or is a film about The hero or heroine of the film The film touches on the theme 
off or the film becomes really exciting when third paragraph is like an evaluation comment on a specific feature of the film that you like or didn't like it's up to you so you can evaluate the plot the sequence of the acting from beginning to the end the use of special effects the soundtrack or the music costumes and the ending use phrases like the film is action packed or full of suspense or a fast moving thriller a moving love story it includes some very amusing or violent scenes the most outstanding feature is the soundtrack is enchanting or fascinating the hero or villain is convincing or well drawn or realistic you can write any of these sentence structures in paragraph 3 when commenting about the film now the conclusion which comes on the fourth paragraph state your general opinion about the film and say whether you recommend it or not use phrases like it's a classic or blockbuster or box office hit it's a great film for action lovers or horror fans or sci-fi fans it is or it is not worth seeing or I was disappointed by the film it's suitable for both children and adults if you haven't seen it make sure you do you will be on the edge of your seat during the whole film it's unlike anything you haven't seen before on the whole I wouldn't recommend it because Here's some tips for you when writing a film review. Choose a film you know well and make a plan of what you are going to write. Remember to use the present simple to describe the plot. Don't include too many details and most importantly, do not reveal the ending. Use a variety of adjectives, adverbs, and expressions to make it more interesting use the present simple or the past simple to make comments and give your opinion so with all the information and guidance you can now write a film review of a film that you have watched do not forget to touch on the plot soundtrack special effects and the ending state if you like or dislike the movie also mention about the costumes camera play and your favorite scenes remember to state the title of the movie the type of the movie the name of the director and the lead actors you have to complete this film review in your book and show it to your teacher later don't forget to use the structure and phrases that you've learned in this lesson that's your homework for today now we have reached the end of our lesson i hope you had a good time learning how to write a film review in summary writing a film review is an easy and enjoyable process you just have to watch the film with a critical eye while writing down the description of the most significant parts and details which you will include in your review take note of information on the director, main characters, historical period used in the film, soundtrack, and 
camera work. The next step would be writing an outline with the main ideas you want to develop in each paragraph. After that, start writing the review considering the four paragraph structure. Be creative and use quite a lot of cinema related vocabulary. The last suggested step would involve the following. Edit and proofread your final review. Avoid vocabulary repetition and check that you have followed the structure. That's all from me today. See you next time. Bye!